So as you guys know, I bought that brand new MacBook Pro 15 inch a couple of weeks ago and I've been using it. I've gotten everything set up on it just the way I want and I really, really love it. And it's been such a good machine to me. I, there are a few things here and there, but overall it's just improved my workflow. It has, there have been no issues with Final Cut Pro at all. Thank goodness. And it's just been amazing. So now, now that I've gotten to use it, what I want to do is uh, I just want to see how fast it is compared to my older MacBook Pro and to my 12 inch MacBook and see how it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Final Cut on all three. I'm going to export, uh, I think two GoPro clips. I'm going to uh, speed them up 20 X and add two, uh, add however, however many songs it takes to fill up uh, the entire length of that video. Now, the thing is, I'm going to just try to make it as equal as possible on everything, you know, but we'll see. And what I'll do is it's going to be simple. Nothing more than that. Just the two clips, speed them up, add music, and then I'm going to export it. And let's see how quick each export is. And let's see which one, uh, if there's really that big of a difference between my new one, uh, my old one and my MacBook, that's supposed to be very underpowered. So let's get right into it. All right, guys. So here it is. This is my... 2018 MacBook Pro 15 inch maxed out. This is my 2012 non-retina MacBook Pro and this is my 12 inch MacBook 2016 base model. So I've got the same export file on all three, uh, a 1080p 60fps GoPro video. It's a 35 minute clip I've compressed down to one minutes and 44 seconds. I sped it up 20 times uh, and the uh, there's the same song on all of them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit uh, export on them at, all, at the same time. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna watch with my stopwatch. And as they finish, one by one, I will mark down the time. So without wasting any time, let's get right to it. All right, so the timer is off and I'm going to closely sit here and monitor the export time. So. Already at 26% on my MacBook Pro 2018, 3% on the 2012 MacBook, and 15% on the 12 inch MacBook. So I think this is gonna be done really quick. So it's already at 60%. All right, I'm gonna keep a close eye on that and I will lap it as quickly as I can. All right, 71. So sit rep on the 2012, it's at 25, and the MacBook 12 inch is at 40, so 80%. So this is almost doubling this, and this is just somewhere else completely compared to that. So I'm actually surprised that this one is so much faster than this, because this is what I've been using to edit most of my videos the entire, I mean, every video technically in the last year or so. So, all right, I'm at 90%, done. All right, lap one. This is still running, 42%. This is at 57 all right, very, very interesting. So right here is the pop-up, expect a pop-up over here for both of them as well. 63% on the uh, MacBook and 49.50 on the MacBook Pro 2012. All right. Let's see, so just for reference, this one took one minute and three seconds. So let's see, okay, so 73%, 60%. All right, I'm gonna be watching this one next and I will lap it. All right, so the MacBook 2012 is actually redeeming itself. It's already up to 73%, whereas the 2012 MacBook is at 84. So this one slowed down once it hit 80. This one has been uh, picking up speed, in fact. So let's see which one of these completes first now because I'm actually thinking that one might beat out the other. So let's see, two minutes, 41 seconds, just for reference. Okay, so the MacBook Pro is at 80%. The all right, done on this one, lap, and all right, and 82% right here. So this one took one minute and 53 seconds. This one is at 84. Let's see if it takes a considerable amount more. So I am super surprised that this one actually finished quicker. That's a big surprise to me. Oh, by the way, not one minute 53 for this. This was one minute and 53 seconds more than the other MacBook, so all right. So over the six minute mark and still at 88%. Uh, if this does not move in the next couple of seconds, I am going to assume that the uh, 
it's stuck or something because it does not seem like it's moving at all. All right, I'm gonna give it a little bit more time. Uh, I'm either expecting to see the failed or the export completed, let's see. All right, folks, so we are past the eight minute, 30 second mark, and it seems like the export is stuck. So what's gonna, what I'm gonna do is I, oh, okay, it just finished, stop. And, oh my God, I was just about to close this out. So this one took eight minutes and 34 seconds. It scared me there. I thought this one was, this one failed and I ha I'd have to do it again, but thank goodness that's not the case. But the one thing that does surprise me is how much slower this is, even compared to the 12 inch MacBook. So, um, you know, this is a very, very underpowered machine compared to this. So this has a i5, a dual core i5. I'm not sure how much its uh, clock speed is, but it's decent. It's not bad by any measure. It has 16 gigs of RAM as well as a SSD, a 500 gig SSD. This one is completely maxed out, so I mean, there's no excuses for this. This has a six core i9 uh, with the highest clock speed and everything. So pretty, uh, this is obviously gonna kick butt. And this does have dedicated graphics as well. This one is a surprising one because this has a small little Core M processor that has almost zero like extra power in it. And it has eight gigs of RAM with a 256 gig storage. This one has 32 gigs of RAM, by the way. So it's just really interesting to see that this one was so much better than this one. So definitely a lot of processor power coming in to play with uh, this one. So either my computer is completely gone to crap or it's just these newer computers are really, really well optimized for video editing and these just intensive processes. So, I mean, I'm just really shocked here These uh, with the performance. What I expected in reality was that we get, obviously this one would be very good like probably i thought this one would be there and then just probably a little bit behind would be this and the uh, macbook would be the last one uh because of that processor but my i guess uh i was proven wrong this one took uncomfortably too long compared to this this was one minute and three seconds this was eight minutes and 34 seconds so oh my god just a big big jump the macbook took two minutes 56 seconds uh so about okay so one minute three minutes and close to eight and a half minutes so that's a big big jump and you know, there's no real purpose to this i just kind of wanted to do it to show off uh the different processing power i have and exactly what i was dealing with and if not anything else kind of justified to myself that purchase because it was a big one and now i feel so much better about this purchase because this one just kicked butt all right guys uh thank you so much for watching this video i don't know if you learned anything but Hey, there it, it is what it is. If you enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing to the channel and follow me on social media. I have all the links down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.